right. Let's uh, ooh, let's risk life and limb to go out and get our coffee here. I'm all excited. I want to wee myself. I have a new uh, I have a new walk. Ooh, I might be able to just. Ooh, no, I could have gotten crushed right there. Uh, we had somebody that's uh, setting a pick here. Uh, it's very nice. Okay. We just leisurely pull out. And look at that. We're safe and sound. 58 degrees. Blue skies. Smiling at me. Cali Mo. Nothing but blue skies. Sandy Linda Doe. Oh no, ah, it's the corn mark guy. Ah, ah, what a horror show. Do we dare squeeze in or are we going to be intruding on the airspace here? Right. The guy's flying. All right, you guys enjoy the corn the core mark guy here. Make sure he's, uh, make sure he's doing his thing, okay?
man. I got a new walk. And we got to get out of here because the core mark guy is here. He comes like Christmas every day. Uh, let's see. Hello, Lisa. Sean Smith, how are you? Let's get out of here. Hey, Ronnie, with that being smashed. Ronnie, I believe I have the right, right day on today. Uh, wrong emoji. Uh, you finally warming up in Arkansas there, Lisa Arkey. Uh, uh, let's try not to get smashed. Hey, Alan, how are you? Elon Musk, good evening. No Stanley Cup tonight. And no toilet job. right now yeah well it usually doesn't get that doggone cold down there does it I uh, hope you guys caught the toilet video job today you can see the little uh, the little root baby that was root turd baby that was birthed there uh, there's nothing like there's nothing like sticking your hands down in the business end 75 is delightful you certainly picked a nice time to go uh, Alan down to the Greater Palm Springs area. Very nice. Uh, let's see what's going on down here tonight. Do we have any forward action or are we still in a very depleted state in the hood here? Uh, okay, let's accelerate and smash into me. There you go. Well, let's get two out of there. Why not? Huh? Maybe you'll get rear-ended. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's, it's nice today. Well, Elon Musk, what are you going to do, you know? Sometimes you just got to get down on the business end of stuff. You got to get your hands down in there. Oh, uh, you know, it's very humbling work. I am cooking inside tonight, Spirit, with the new seasoned wok. I have a, uh, a video coming up on how to season the wok. And tonight we're going to put it into action. And I'm excited. I got some chicken breast to cut up, and uh, we're going to do it up. I got the long-handled official Chinese utensils. Did it work? It. So we're all set. Uh, let's see. That is that a cat, or is that a? I don't know what the hell that was. Was that a lion over there? I don't know. It's a little big for a cat. I think we got more rain on the way tomorrow. I respect for Janet. Well, that's not janitorial work, man. Ain't no janitor on planet Earth doing that job. Yeah, you're gonna miss it, all right. That's called straight plumbing work right there. Janitor might snake it, but that's the end of the line. You don't want a janitor starting to mess with your plumbing and stuff, right? The blue sky smiling at me nothing but blue skies yeah that's plumbers work but you know the plumbers like I want 350 bucks to pull that toilet now mind you that's just to pull the toilet that's not for anything else that's not the clearing the uh, whatever the obstruction is right I mean that's just to pull the toilet uh, so it ain't gonna happen in my world Plumbing is not rocket science. Electricity is rocket science, okay? Uh, let's see if we can pull that with it being smashed to smithereens here. Uh, we've been down that we've been down that road many times, honey, over uh, over eleven years now, entering our twelfth year on YouTube. I've done it all, honey. Drywall, plumbing, electrical. <laughs> You name it. All done in the cause of saving a buckaroo. Rain and tons of snow. Happy day, hey, Nathan. I don't know. I was, uh, you know, the rain just gets, uh, uh, yeah, the Stanley Cup. Isn't that stupid? <sighs> right. some, some dopes have to go there and stand in line at hours at Target to get the to get a Stanley Cup. I mean, it's just it's kind of brainless, uh, you know. 
they used to do that stuff for video games and playstations and stuff now you're going to do it for a goofy mug right i mean i'd be embarrassed to tell you i might wash my mug out once every two months yeah look at my morning uh yeah thank you you like that tell me you live in the hood with that telling me a little bit of blowback, but by and large, people enjoy the uh, meme. There's people starting to pick up on it and doing remixes, which is nice. Hello, Kelly girl. Good evening to you. Yeah, 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 that's it. Nathan knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going down to Florida. I'm happy with this New York weather. I'm going down with all my Jewish friends. i got to get out of here. This, uh, this flushing, uh, right, it's, it's getting on my nerves. Oh, you do, go ahead, there you go. Look at that five feet, wow. I mean, we're supposed to get two or three inches of rain over the next few days. Oh, just the rain is... Uh, you know, uh, the nice thing about the snow is that the snow puts a blanket on things. It deadens the sound. I can imagine having one peaceful night in the, in the hood that you didn't hear anybody screaming or being assaulted on the streets or uh, fire alarms being pulled, cars smashing up. Just one night. One night. We have to go to, uh, we have to go to try to get a clipboard tonight. I've been looking for one. Uh, what type of oil? Do I just used, uh, Ronnie, I just used um, regular canola oil. You really need to have a high temperature uh, oil. Very important. Yeah, so I have a video. I go through the whole, it'll only be about a five minute video. It goes through the whole process of, of course, seasoning really comes with time. It's not an instantaneous thing. Streets rolled up at 8, no noise. Oh, wow. Well. Let me tell you what, Lisa Arkey. Here, honey, from 2 a.m. until 5... Uh, two, I'd say, I don't know. I would say from 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. are your two quiet hours here. That's it. That's it. Even then, you have a dope with a... You know, with a detuned uh, engine running up and down the street... Oh, we actually got it in the parking spot. So, um, that's the only quiet time we get. But believe it or not, it's, ooh, I think I might be on the sidewalk. This guy's going to have a bird here. All right, there we go. Believe it or not, you do get used to it because I'm sleeping in the front of the uh, house in the uh, what we call the city view suite up there. I'm not in the garden suite. In the back, I reserve that to, for uh, distinguished guests and other people that are uh, like, <laughs> coming, coming to town, right? I just put myself into the city view suite. Good evening, Amanda Hog and Kiss. <clears throat> How are you? Uh, oh, it was. I was a couple more minutes inside the 7 Eleven because uh, hot darn, I get a nice fresh batch of coffee just going up on the thing. Uh, I'm nosy as rocks. I would need to sleep. Uh, sleep with you. Yeah, that's it. Well, you're welcome to. <laughs> uh, uh, who wouldn't want to cuddle up with all that lushness? Uh, so it was a good day. It was a busy day today. It was a good day. As you know, they're calling me in a panic, not in a panic, but the church. There's no hot water in the bathroom. And you know, I was, uh, this is not fair to, you know, I'm like, jeez, you know, I'm run over there. I got to go over there again tomorrow. I don't know. It's, if it's not one thing, it's another. Uh,. But I did have time today to uh, season up the uh, walk. I did, a, it hasn't been put up yet, 
I did a YouTube short just announcing the walk, but I have a regular YouTube video that's going to be seasoning the walk. I did put up the toilet, uh, the, the toilet job, if you guys want to see uh, pulling up the toilet in the shine shack and uh, getting that back in good working order again. It's a, it's a nice short, it's a good video. It's going to help some people that run into that problem. Uh, problem with that, you have to be kind of circumspect. You have to be kind of considerate of what you're going to put on the... <laughs> I didn't see any, think anybody wanted to see the mounds of turds uh, <laughs> laying down, the well-watered turds laying in there. <laughs> Right, you just you have to kind of use you you got to use your sense a little bit on that uh, on that whole operation, but that's done. So very busy, and then I have uh, this morning, uh, you know, it's like, do you have a Stanley Cup? No, I got a nice cup that Naomi uh, sent me, and then they're talking about how these people were uh, stealing each other Stanley Cups, and these poor guys on construction sites now. You got uh, you get people sneaking in to construction sites now, trying to uh, grab right. Uh, what what is he going to do, Elon? Man, what is Bird going to do? Bird has to clean up the rest of the shine shack by the end of the month. Okay, that's his job. You know, it's a small bathroom. I don't know if you think he's going to hold my hand or what he's going to do in there. Right, he pays rent and under. Anyone who's paying rent is entitled to have uh, working plumbing, uh, you know, and hot water to be able to uh, shower and maintain hygiene. That's my responsibility, okay? That's my responsibility. I would do it for anybody, okay? And plus, I don't want other people, uh, you know, who knows what bird skill set is? I have no idea. I don't like projects that turn into earn as you learn or whatever and going along and then we have, uh, you know, busted porcelain and uh, now I got to go out and get a $500 uh, a new American Standard toilet or something. That's not in the budget, okay? We just, you know, we're not going to be defeated because we just spent a lot of money uh, to, to, to avoid, we saved a lot of money by not having the plumber come in. And a Stanley Cups and fun. Isn't that, isn't that dumb? It's just uh, people with Stanley Cups. And everybody's, you know, I'm reading all these stories are popping. And these stores are being broken into, uh, you know, and, and construction sites. And people are rifling through people's work vans for Stanley, for real original Stanley uh, mugs. I'm like, oh, jeez, right? I mean, uh, how how strange is that? Yeah, would have cost a lot more. Well, like I said, a three fifty to pull the toilet and then take it from there. I would, he would charge another couple hundred bucks to deliver the root ball turd baby, uh, you know, and then charge for uh, you know new wax ring, blah blah blah, new toilet flange bolts, blah blah blah, and then flushing this flushing the system out again. It'd be a six hundred dollar job. Uh, so just get it done. Yeah, I do it myself. That's right. It's Danny. I gave it to a homeless guy. Well, you know, it's Elon Musk. It's, you know, so what? It's a Stanley Cup, right? It's just how it's just how dumb. Next week it'll be old. It'll be Milwaukee cups. Oh, now the Milwaukee Cup is all the rage. Yeah, other stuff. Well, I don't know. I don't. Lisa Archie. I rarely have tradespeople come to the rancho. And it's usually as a result of a well-negotiated, uh, uh, you know, a lot of give and take and pricing. And now you're calling back. Did you change your mind on wanting to get it done? I can knock a couple hundred dollars more off of it. Jeez. Uh, I mean, if you could come down 300 bucks, yeah, you know, yeah, I could do it for that. But I can't, I can't do, you know, I wish I could, I wish I could say, but, uh, you know. It's no lie to say I'm on a fixed income, so that's the way it goes. So please tap the like button if you're coming in tonight. Uh, and if you do it yourself, yeah, Stanley Cups for 50 years. And if you do it yourself, you know it's done correctly. And that's very important. That's very important to me.
very, 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 very important to me to know it's done now, right? Now, the good news with the Shine Shack, the Shine Shack was developed to take a real, 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 uh, yeah, I hear you, Lisa, Lisa, the Shine Shack was developed to be a very rough and tumble place. Because for quite a few years, we made moonshine in there. And I'm not talking about just your little kettle on a stove. I'm talking about a 25-gallon uh, still made in Kentucky. And, uh, you know, producing two gallons of, uh, two gallons of uh, drinkable uh, ethanol. All right. And then go putting it in barrels and doing it up and moving and, and uh you know, having bootleggers and people that were selling it and stuff like that. Okay, so it was a massive operation. And quite a few times over the years in trying to fill the still or this and that, a hose would slip out of the ferment, uh, would slip out of the uh, still. And unbeknownst to me, I'm pumping 10, 20 gallons of uh, distiller's beer all over the floor of the uh, shine shack and stuff, right? So when I built the Shine Shack, I built it for very heavy uh, duty. So I sealed like the baseboard with uh, silicone on the bottom at the floor level and things. So that the drywall would never be uh, uh, would never be compromised. And I put in a, a very good porcelain tile floor. Uh, so that has been the real uh, that's been the real saving grace. All right. Uh, I can get you a new time, but just don't ask any question. Uh, Stanley Thermos in his 60s. All right, so that's where we stand on that. So everything is built for hard duty out there. Now, I never envisioned that it would be a place, because I would have put a Murphy bed in it and all that that comes down uh, uh, in there. I figured if people come in, we just have blow-up mattresses. And sometimes we've had a lot of people stay overnight at the, at the same time. Theoretically, it can sleep like... It yeah. could sleep like nine people. And they had enough to sleep nine people there. So, uh, And I think the most we ever have is like six, maybe six or seven people or something like that. So it's just it always worked out good. Uh, running a still is not an easy job. Making ferment is very hard. Making ferment is the real, uh, it's the, you're the unsung hero of the distilling process. Of course, the master distiller is the one that gets all the credit. He's the one that poses for the pictures when they come in for the magazine articles and distillers weekly magazine and all that. But uh, trust and believe this guy's rarely around. Okay. He comes in and fiddles with a couple of uh, uh, water balance levels and water jacket uh, heat level things and he's gone. Okay. The real hero is the guy that does the, or the woman that does the ferment. All right, that's the backbone of it. How much of that grains and sugars or whatever can you get to convert to actual potential alcohol by volume in there? That's the real deal. That's the real deal. And I think the most we've ever been able to achieve was like 15%, uh, uh, which is pretty doggone good out of uh, 25 gallons of ferment or whatever uh, out of there. But that's the real art. Because you have to deal with temperatures that are cold, man. We used to run aquarium heaters in uh, ferment, and uh, I'm running hoses with transfer pumps and uh, glass jars and barrels on the property. Uh, so, you know, and it's, it's all about the rate that you run it. And running the steel is not that hard, okay? Right now, I'll tell you the real art is on the other end when you're doing blending. Uh, yeah, I'll start it up whenever, if in the future when the shine shack is cleared out. Uh, you know, I don't know when that'll be. I'm certainly not chasing uh, Blackbird at. I'm saying but one day for sure. Uh, you'll click on it and there will be a video, right? This is the last damn liquor run I'm ever making here. And uh, there it'll be. We're doing the ferment, the run, the whole deal. And uh, firing it up. Now, if you have a hankering to see it, there's tons of them. I have a video called From Grains to Glass. that has the whole process from cooking up the grains to doing the ferment to loading up the still to 
running the still to barreling to tasting and all that stuff so uh so it was um you know and it was it's quite a process so there's tons of stuff it's called uh you know uh, there's a lot of moonshine playlists in there and things When I got the property, I applied for a conditional use permit to have to operate a distillery on the property, and it was approved by the city of Santa Rosa. Uh, so that will that will convey in the future with the property. Whoever in the future buys the property will have the automatic right, if they so choose, to operate a distillery on the uh, property. The problem was that you needed to have all the fire control apparatus and piping and uh and it was just you know it just the expense would have been too much so i just uh i shit can the idea of it it's gonna be a roseland distillery oh here comes this nice uh, i love this guys this 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 guy's got it going on with the lazy days look at this class see this this thing looks brand freaking new this guy polishes this thing i mean that's called pride of ownership there there's no leaky hoses or shit hanging out the bottom of it it's just a good quality a really good quality operation right there i love that thing so uh you wanna, yeah that's it yeah the ones uh that's what i did i did some of that so anybody wants to see some moon shining well it's all there right it's a good it's a good introduction to the whole process hey joni that's why i said if we ever get into a uh, bug out situation or end of the world chaos collapse barbarism and blah 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 what it may have that uh, everybody will say, well, what can you bring to the table? I'll say, hey, man, I can make alcohol. All right, dude, you're with us. Take care of uh, take care of Roosevelt there, right? Make sure nothing happens to Rosie, all right? <laughs> yes, they're very expensive, and uh, you can get cheap, crappy ones, or you can get uh, one made in Kentucky like I have out of all copper and stainless steel, uh, which is uh, which is great, right? That's why all the barrels are la always laying around the rancho. Uh, the old ferment barrels, but it's very labor intensive. I got tired of humping bags of grain and 50 pound bags of sugar and it's a hell of a lot of work you know it's uh you know it has to be tended to you can't just set it and forget it you got to be hands-on every day stirring it up checking pulling pulling some out putting it in testing to see what the uh alcohol by volume potential is i mean it's a lot of stuff to be done it's a big job it's a whole learning curve the boss used to yell at me like nobody's business. You know, when we had early disasters and the boss like, I drove all the hour to get up here and I didn't come up here to boil water and you better, uh, I, said, I don't know what's happening. He said, well, you better figure it out. <laughs> figure it out. Well, I did. It's like anything else. The more you do, the better you get at it. So. But definitely making the ferment is the, uh, you're the unsung hero of the whole operation, that's for sure. Distiller's just the glory. The real guy, though, the guy that blends, the blender. Now, that's, guy's got to taste all these different barrels and bring it together and find out which two or three barrels to blend together. You have a, you have a signature taste of the distillery, right? And you have to blend to that all the time. So that's a very highly paid person right there. Right? That's a very odd, the blender. Uh, hey, Michelle. That's a very important function. You can get like single barrel, which is pretty rare, but you pay up. Most of the stuff you buy is multiple barrels uh, put together. It's a very hard job. It's one of those things you can do it. It's easy to do it, but it's hard to do it well. Right? The incremental gains you get are very tiny as you go along. Right? In other words, it's easy to produce alcohol, but would you want your family to drink it? 
I took out I took alcohol to people on YouTube and other people and uh, you know they're just like wow man you know it's more 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 uh, you know my our stuff went out the door at 180 proof which is 90 percent pure alcohol okay so people were getting a great deal I mean how do you think I paid for the rancho right Ryan, I'd guys would buy a case of that stuff. Guys being bootleggers and running that stuff around. I mean, uh, right? Big process. You know, some people just want the white dog and some people want the barrel age stuff. So, will I be running that again? Yeah, one day I will. In the meantime, it's a nice conversation piece for the man cave because if, uh, you know, you know, when Blackbird eventually leaves, I will convert that into a, uh, I used to live stream out of there quite a bit. It was like a, uh, you know, it was like a second home to be in there and stream and, and uh, do all that. So... But the little bit of incremental money every month is a help to me. So it's it's a good trade-off. Blue skies smiling at me. Nothing but blue skies that I see. Uh, I think somebody raided my mailbox today. All of the mail, some of the mail, like the crappy flyers were down on the ground. Yeah, it's a pretty piece. It's, uh, you know, not many people are going to chunk up the money for Kentucky-made stills. But if you want to make good stuff, you have to have good equipment. These people that homebrew this stuff, uh, you know, it's, uh, you get what you get. A lot of these people, I'm surprised they don't poison themselves uh, or go blind with the crap that they're using and producing and no idea how to separate the four shots from the head, the hearts and the tails of it. Uh, I was impressed my grandfather. Oh, I came from a whole line in Kentucky and North Carolina of uh, uh, all out of the Maggie Valley and all that stuff. Uh, long line of moonshiners. My grandmother who died relatively young, a raging alcoholic and moonshiner. Uh, it's just, it runs in the family tree, right? If you're Southern, you get involved sometimes with that kind of stuff. Damn where Joni is or Lisa Arkey down there, you know, I mean, what the hell? You would, uh... Uh, a lot of people would run up a still and make some extra money down there. And then other people could, uh, you know, you, you give a police a little payola or whatever, and you only had to worry about the odd revenue agent that was running around, and uh, even they could be paid off. So it's not like people were being arrested left and right and center, and, uh, you know, it's just, it's who you know. You know, the average law enforcement guy doesn't want to deny somebody the ability to make some money or make a living down there. It's a hard scrabble life down in uh, Appalachia and, uh, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, you got to do what you got to do to hack out a living down there. So people give you a little bit of slack. Plus the cops are usually buying or you just give them a couple of quarts and they're all good. Uh, Pre-NASCAR, uh, I don't even post NASCAR with Junior Johnson, and uh, people don't understand the difference between a moonshiner and a, uh, a bootlegger. They just don't know the difference between the two, and they don't understand really any, not very much at all about moonshining and making alcohol and stuff. The problem also is it's a very heavily regulated federal business, so you have to file all kinds of, uh, you have to pay your $17 a gallon, 100 proof tax, and all this, it's just so much stuff. Everything's got to be bonded and secure, and it just becomes a total, uh, it becomes a money pit, right? It becomes an absolute money pit. But I always had a dream if you could just have a little designer uh, bourbon label, it would be cool. 
you know but otherwise all the paperwork i did i mean i had a notice on the front of the property of the alcohol and tobacco for the state of california for uh you know this place is going to operate as a distillery i had zoning meetings where people would come up and have questions about it had to get the alcohol uh control board to okay it in sacramento that all that stuff all went well had to submit plans to the fire department and that's where the brakes kind of hit because they wanted all kinds of uh you know they said hey you can operate it outside or do whatever you want but yeah that's just what i want to do in the rain and the scorching heat is to run that operation right plus i figured if i'm outside i'm going to have everybody in his every hood rat and his mother jump in the fence and uh, you know, <laughs> uh, I don't want ale. I don't. I don't like ale. Uh, for me, for me, it's all about the uh, lager beer. The, uh, that's my preference. Yeah, I, you can legally make two hundred gallons of beer or wine a year with no problem. Not that anybody would have ever cared anyway. I mean, they get these these. These law enforcement guys got bigger fish to fry than somebody that's making a little distilled liquor in their uh, in their place, right? Uh, 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 plus, you know, nobody thinks anybody would ever be a moonshiner in California anyway. It's almost unheard of, right? That's a that's a southern thing, man. Who in the hell did we grow weed out here? Ain't nobody doing, you know. I figured if I ever got busted, I would definitely be on the front page of the uh, paper with the still picture there and the shine shining. <laughs> Feds bust moonshining operation. <laughs> right. <laughs> there I am, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's it. You always wanted to be famous, right? Well, there you are. Uh, when I think, I think California because of grapes. Yeah, but that's legal stuff, right? <clears throat> you know, if you want to start fiddling with wine and stuff, now you're making uh, brandy, which is really wine that's been distilled, put through the still. I mean, uh, you know, and you get things like cognac are very fine, very fine. You have like that VSOP stuff that uh, Blackbird gave me. Holy smokes. Hey, Queen. That stuff is like silk. That stuff, that stuff is like silk. Yeah, I got it in my blood, you know. I mean, uh, my grandmother was always making up something. She was always uh, zombie fight. She was always drunk. I don't I don't have, I don't even remember seeing her sober. But that's life in the south, right? It's how you roll. It's how we roll. That's it. That's exactly how we roll. But it, it was fun for a few years. Right? It was fun for a year. It was made great YouTube content. And, uh, you know, it was, uh, a lot of people enjoy it. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Yeah, I mean, it's part of the experience that makes the... Uh, that makes the rancho uh, the rancho, right? Uh well, I never did see my grandmother was always stretched out on the couch with Lawrence Welk on with the afghan over top of her. <clears throat> uh, just uh, incommunicado. Do, do, do. Thank you, boys. That was wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> That's Lawrence Welk. I have my nut hairs pulled out and listen to that again. Uh, watch the toilet. The root was massive. You should paint good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fundy, that was what we call a, a root turd baby. All right, that thing was massive, man. The composition of that was, uh, was I couldn't believe it. I started lifting and lifting, and this thing just I was like I was delivering a baby. 
uh, like I was delivering a baby, that's going to be like an every uh, every six or seven year operation out there. You had a bubble machine. I just think so tired of that. Right? I know you never saw anything like it. Yeah, well, the roots are water seeking, so they will do liquid seeking. They will do whatever they can. But it takes time. Plus, if I start giving a root treatment, uh, it's, it keeps it from coming. Keeps it from being in there. Uh, you do that every three months. I order the stuff, the, uh, uh, what the hell is it? The copper sulfate that you put in there. It doesn't harm the tree, but it just gets rid of those roots that are in there. It's like anything else on it. It just needs management, management, management. Everything takes time. Alan Gentry will tell you when you have a property, there's always, you know, I tell you right now, there's tent, there's painting that needs to be done. There's gutters that need to be cleaned. Uh, you know, there's, there's bushes that need to be trimmed. There's oranges that need to be harvested and fruit. I mean, and squeezed and juiced. Uh, there's just, you don't have to ever wake up in the morning and say, gee, what am I going to do today? <laughs> You're like a you're like a rancho slave around there. It never ends, funny. It's always everything is always wants to everything always wants to degrade to shit. Everything always wants to get back to its elemental shitty nature, right? It wants to just fall apart and collapse into the ground. So it's a constant process to. Uh, you know to keep it going well when i clean out the gutters i'm going to use i'm going to put some uh, screens in this time 12 years old stone basement it's a money pit oh 120 years old yeah uh you know actually some of the way some of these substandard contractors that pour concrete these days i'd almost be willing to trade it for a stone for a hand hewn in place stone wall i'm telling you right because a lot of the stuff these guys are putting out today is just crap they're pouring like low psi concrete and it's cracking and uh it's just a mess yeah charm is important it's what makes a house a house now what is this guy just gonna this is a guy just gonna sit here yeah no pavers i don't know what this dude just decided to just park right here So I'm always I'm always envious of people that just have a condo or apartment. You just close the door and you just go, right? It's nice. <clears throat> Very nice. I guess this person just feels like they can just sit there. Hey Naomi, how you doing? Thanks again for the cocktail sauce, babe. Now this guy just perched himself right there. I don't know. Maybe his kid's getting off the train or something. I don't know. Uh, what must be nice, Mike. So, uh, I'm not going to be able to... There's not too many more years I'm going to be able to uh, do the physical labor that I do around there. Uh you know, I need to get the right equipment. You know, I can't have a hedge trimmer. I need a pole hedge trimmer. You know, I need something that has a, a lot of reach and stuff. How you doing, Alex? You know, because let's let's face it, you know, if you go off a ladder or something like that, you're probably pretty much ending up in a uh, care home or something, right? To not, yeah, not have to work again. That's it. Got me this week three shots at 85 a shot. You're right. It's always something. Yeah. Yeah. I guess they charge it up for the snow removal. It's one thing I don't have to worry about here is snow. But the uh, the good news is the the well charges up very well. The, if I had to irrigate everything that's growing there with city water, I'd be busted. There you go, Fundy. Uh, so that makes it nice for, uh, plenty of, uh, no shortage of water for irrigating. 
as much as that rankles and pisses off the city of Santa Rosa and the county of Sonoma. They're always trying to offer me enticing bonuses to get off of the uh, well, to shut in the well. So I have one, literally one of the last wells in the city. <clears throat> Everybody else has grabbed the enticements. What sort of water is the best for blending moonshine? Well, we stayed away from chlorine. We figured if you're distilling, you're bringing up to a boiling point. So whatever funkiness may be in the groundwater there is always left behind in the uh, still. And it stinks to high heaven at the end of it. But uh, what comes out of that worm, the little end of the uh, still, what we call the worm or the parrot is absolutely pristine and as pure as can be. Steam distillation is like the champion of, of cleaning uh, any liquid. Also, you run that still for six hours or so, and the power draw on that is pretty intense. Uh, sometimes the dream of being free, and then I see what people pay for rent. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, I don't know what the rent situation is in Canada. Is it similar? Mike Jackson, Jetson, I shipped a lot of moonshine out to people over the years. Uh, and a lot of people reviewed it. Uh, you know, I took some in my travels too and shared it People shared it with people along the way. Uh, so I'll put you down for some. But it goes out it goes out hot and it goes out strong, man. It ain't for it ain't for the weak need. It ain't for the weak need. This stuff is uh, you, you're talking about 190 proof. That's how good this still is. You don't have to run things through the still twice. Some people do these home moonshiners. 2500 Canadian uh, it's about 1700 US a month 1800 US a month ghetto about 1500 is there really such a thing as a ghetto in Canada like out here on the west coast oh honey I wore bikinis I wore I did everything honey I mean you know you had to get the boys in there checking it out and the ladies but you know people talk about people don't even know what the hell a ghetto is they have no idea you want you want to go to baltimore city to see a ghetto all right you want to go to kensington avenue in philadelphia or monroe street in baltimore or something these people have no concept what a what a ghetto is a ghetto is where the roofs are falling in and the, the whole front of the building is falling away. Yeah, I had silver ones, the silver bullet. I had uh, all kinds of ones. Compton, I've walked Compton before. It's not really a ghetto, it's a hood. Uh, Lisa Arkey said rent's very cheap here. How in the heck can that be, Lisa? Like, what are you going to get for a thousand bucks a month down there in Arkansas? What is that going to get you? I don't know how far you are from Little Rock, but what is that going to get you? Where the cockroaches wear army boots. Yeah, but now cockroaches aren't necessarily uh, ghettos, you know. Nice four red room brick. That's nice. I mean, I don't know. I mean, uh, is is Arkansas like the hidden gem of the west of the south? I mean. I mean, it's got a reputation. Yes, Detroit has... Look at my Detroit videos, Naomi, around Libernoy Avenue and, uh, you know, the old Packard plant and all that stuff when the security guard and I got into it, right? Right? I mean, that could be a gem. Maybe I should buy a property and uh, uh, move in next to Lisa Arkey, right? Uh, Rosie, could you pull my toilet? Pam was going to buy here and, f and flip. It never has yet. Uh, yeah, Camden, you know, Baltimore, good sections of Baltimore, Richmond. 
Washington, D.C. has New York Avenue is horrific down there. At least it was. I don't know what it is now. It's horrific. Uh, I can think of so many places up and down. Uh, Gary, Indiana, parts of Chicago, uh, right? I mean, these are real hardcore, uh, you know, cops don't go into and all that stuff. I mean, it's, it's, it's horrific. This means whole fronts of the buildings are, are coming off the bricks. Friend of mine bought a home on it from a gal I wanted to make it up the alcohol and, uh, you know, up the alcohol content. And, uh, and it's interesting. Uh, how you doing, P2E? <clears throat> do, 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 My neighborhood is, uh, by, by city standards here, it's a very crappy area. By national standards, it's fine, right? But let's not get it twisted. There's a, there's a, a significant amount of hardcore drug uh, activity that occurs there. Uh, there's a tremendous amount of gang activity, which means if you can, uh, if you can get if you can steer clear of that stuff, you're good. You know, get along with your name. Move to Oakdale. I uh, know I can go both ways, but I'd rather be cool. To, of course. Of course. Yeah, we'll wait till Alan gets back, and then we're going to mosey on down to Oakdale. That's what we're going to do. Jeez, I thought that was... Uh, the hell's his name? I don't know. What kind of what kind of vehicle is that? Does anybody know what that is over there? What is that? I don't know. Is it a Kia or something? Kind of weird. Did you ever from Joey P? Uh, no, I wrote him and didn't hear anything back. So I don't know. Sometimes, uh, sometimes Joey D. Sometimes Joey D. likes to uh, take off for a while. He'll disappear for months at a time. I did write. I didn't get any response. Well, I hope so too. You know, he had been he had battled cancer before and things, so I don't know. But uh, uh, you know, you just never know. He's a very private person. I don't know. I guess that's a Hyundai. I don't know. It's kind of cool looking, but it's it looks almost space age. Uh, Joe Kane, uh, uh, he sent me something, he sent me a message at Christmas time and wished me a happy, a Merry Christmas, and I wished him the best. I think he was always disappointed that I never made it down to uh, Australia. But you have to understand from where I am, that's a, you're talking about a significant amount of travel. Now, if I'm going, you know, to, uh, Asia or something else, then it's a little more doable. But you really don't have a concept of how far uh, Australia is in terms of travel time and all that. It's a very costly, it's very, it's a long trip, right? So, and if you're sitting in coach for, you know, like I go to Hong Kong, you know, I used to go to Hong Kong from London. And thank God I didn't have to go and coach. They put us in uh, Royal Bank of Canada to put us in business class. But, uh, I mean, what the hell? Fifteen and a half hours is uh, is a long time to be in a tin can. Hey, Angus. It's a long time. <clears throat> You know, it's like uh, also from, you know, from San Francisco or L.A. to Shanghai or Hong Kong, 
you're gone over the, you're flying over the North Pole because believe it or not it's shorter to fly north and come down the other side than it is to go around uh, let's see uh, just depends where you're flying from but long yeah it's a long time to be in a plane so you have to really be able to uh, either sleep or occupy your time. So we used to mess around in the old, on the United Airline, when you could still f smoke and stuff, we used to muck around in the back with the, uh, with the flight attendants and stuff. Used to kind of flirt with them and... Uh, <laughs> No, we're going to run Amanda down to, um, we're going to run her down to Katati tonight, right? And the chances of having a negative encounter in Katati are uh, slim to none. Plus, we better make hay while the sun shines because we, be, we might be socked in by crappy weather the next few days. That's the big negative there. Uh, VR, you can all, you can afford, uh, I don't I don't think, who goes first class? I, I don't know. Our company, you know, Royal Bank of Canada and uh, AT&T, I work for both of them in Asia. They both had the philosophy, if you're going to travel, we want you to be as comfortable as possible. You know, we want you to eat well. We want you to be in a nice hotel. I mean, Hell, the, uh, you know, the AT&T would put us up at the Mandarin Oriental in uh, Manila and uh, really first class hotels in Taiwan and in Beijing and Shanghai and stuff. I mean, it was right. It was you were living like an emperor, <laughs> eating well, drinking, partying with your customers getting all shit-faced in Taiwan and running from the police. All right. The Ku Ming Tang. Uh, memories, memories, memories. Memories. Hanging out on the Great Wall. Uh, have I ever been in a fast train? Uh, I don't think so, honey. I don't think I've ever... On planet Earth in a train, I don't think I've ever gone faster than about 70 miles an hour. On the car to run from like uh, uh, Baltimore up to New York, you'd be about you'd be about 90 minutes in a train. About 180 miles. And the beauty of that run, you could, you could see all the uh, all the ghettos of Baltimore and Philadelphia and New Jersey, and it's very uh, you know it's not great for the tourist trade, right? People are like, oh my God, I hope we don't break down here. These guys will be on you like savages in a in a barbarian movie. <sighs> They will descend on you like a herd of locusts. Well, it would depend. Sometimes if there was a seat open, they would uh, hump you up to first class. But remember, when you put somebody in the first class, oh shit, look at that traffic. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Oh, this might be all right. Looks like it's moving. Uh, if you get bumped up to first class, it's more work for this for the uh, well at that time we call them stewardesses or whatever. But uh, you know it's more work for them. So if they like you, they might say yeah 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 go ahead. If they didn't like you, then uh, you were kind of it's just the way it goes. See, we're just gonna we're gonna just force multiple people here because uh, people have the patience of a goat here. Uh, 
my life is one big metering light. I first moved to this town, there was no such thing as a metering light. faster in LA than I do around here and that ain't no lie. It's where you just scoot in and you take your shot, man. You better you better put your manners aside, and just get in. You better get in, man. Here we go. And I wait for the person to beat behind. Oh, I can't believe you pulled in front of me. Hey, man, it's California. What are you going to do? Uh, I got traffic above me. I got traffic below me. Uh, I don't got the fast lane either. I don't have a blow-up doll to sit in the seat. I miss my small town. Hey, you gotta, you know, you gotta keep your wits about you driving in California. You gotta take your brakes when you can. from on YouTube there's a lot of history of blow-up dolls and stuff Naomi a lot of history in what we call the boy at the bottom of YouTube a lot of history with blow-up dolls it's nonsense Ugh. hey Bianca how you doing babe This makes no sense to me because we're going south towards San Francisco. You would think that uh, the real traffic would be coming north. But for some crazy reason, trying to get through the center of this city is like a, it's like a bad dream. just get worse and worse. No, I don't have a new windshield. You're just having the benefit of the light being at a certain angle and without the sun. So it doesn't look like the 10 million little chips are in it. That's a $100 proposition, probably 500 now. Yeah, I think it's also that YouTube did something to enhance the uh, stream capability now. I don't know what it is. I think they're starting to employ AI to uh, clean up images and things in real time. I'm not sure. I'm just speculating. I don't know. But uh, I hope you're well covered, John. Uh, what's going on in Auto Road tonight? Good deal. You always do it up. Yeah, we like to give the 50 millimeter view sometimes. Hello, Shimei. 
We're on the road tonight, Shebang. We're on the road to the new walk. <laughs> we got rid of that old pretend. Oh, you'll be wearing a costume? That's cool. to travel about maybe six miles. with a uh, Indian gaming casino up there. So that'll be a lot of uh, drama. Because that's a very, uh, it's what they call the family town, right? For families, so they're going to be bitterly opposed to any gambling in that place. Moving through Rohnert Park now. Yeah, it seems odd, but uh, these Native Americans know of no other way to make a living than to, uh, you know, get into the casino business, which I don't care about. That's fine. You know, but it, it does take a toll because, let's face it, gambling is a blight on society. It doesn't generate any wealth because it doesn't produce anything. It's just a great redistributor of wealth. Man, I wish I was floating down the road in a Cadillac. Although this van, for its lightweight, 1,700 pounds or whatever, it uh, it rolls like a good, pretty good ride. If they had enacted uh, sports betting in California, I would have definitely done some uh, college football. So it's just as well. I don't ever bet the pro, but I do have a distinct edge in college. <laughs> We're going to have to hope we get good signal in Katati. Our turnoff is in one mile here. Crappy LED streetlights are all gone bad now. Remind me, I want to try to get a clipboard tonight. I keep remind. I want to just. I want to stop at an office depot or something. Katari. One, 
time this city held the record for the speed record, land speed record in America here. Katadi's uh, claim to fame. They used to have a three quarter mile raised uh, wooden bank track here. The other claim to fame it's the accordion capital of the world. Every August they have an accordion festival where people come from all over the world to play their squeeze boxes. As in mama's got a squeeze box. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What are we doing here, man? We're just running maneuvers? Is that what we're doing? just on free-for-all we just go where we want to go welcome to Katadi everybody named after the Kotai Indians uh, uh, this is a very nice little town at one time I don't they had Sal Sal's pizza down here which uh, Missy Jen and I judged to be the best pizza in the county friggin' excellent. Zion is Bellini Cafe. So we're gonna we're gonna park here and just uh, I don't think anybody's gonna ma mind if we're parked at the China Chef restaurant here. Papa Murphy's take and bake. How is our signal? Is our signal okay? Sometimes we get a little bit iffy around here. A little bit shaky. Kathy's Restaurant. There's a lot of places I never reviewed down here. Kotcha's Restaurant. C-O-T. Cotija's. I don't know. What is going on? Do we have a signal or do we have a problem? I don't want to take a premium parking spot here. Uh, good old Mayan. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Shemay. All right, let's get... Uh, we're down to 55 degrees, so we're going to need to put our gear on. Flashlight. Uh, where is that flashlight? I have, I have I carry multiple flashlights now. I ain't gonna get pork here. Uh, let's Frog, you better close your eyes for a bit. We're going to be bouncing around a little here. You know, i got to get some new shorter cords. Thank goodness it's tax deductible. All right. It's part of the stock and trade. Okay. We're okay here. We got our flashlight. We got our battery. 
Uh, let's start over here. I don't think I've ever really taken a close look at this strip mall in here. I don't get over here too much. This place is kind of, it's kind of tucked away. But it does have some good uh, restaurants here and stuff I've been to before. Let's flip that around for a wider view. Is that tighter or wider? All right, there's our wide. The wider the angle, the less jiggle you get. Breakfast all day. Let's see what we got over here. Yeah, I like to look around, Mike. I mean, I never. I usually just blow right past here and go into the center of town. But. We got no place we got to be, so let's look around. Uh, what is this? Zainas, Zainas, Bellini Cafe, early bird breakfast. Look at this, $9.99. Uh, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. I wonder what the early bird breakfast is. I don't know. Hey, Dory Lynn. They got nice outdoor seating area. Bottomless Bellinis and Mimosas. I don't even know what the heck a Bellini is. Fundy, you're our uh, cultured. Uh, what is a Bellini? American Mediterranean comfort food. Well, two eggs and toast and a couple pieces of bacon would be all right. Add your coffee in. Maybe you're at the door for 15 bucks plus tip. I doubt you're going to get out the door for under less than 20 bucks. Uh, I don't think I want warm ketchup on my fries. I don't know. I don't know. 8 to 8, Sunday 7 to 3. Well, Ronnie, where are you again? I mean, here they wouldn't, they wouldn't spend the manpower. I mean, you'd You'd have to have a guy coming around and checking it. It'd be all right, Al. There's a lot to be said for NorCal. Champagne hairstyle. Here's another place for food. Uh, this looks Mexican. What is this? Oh, Halifax, really? Nova Scotia? They're gonna bother you up there? Breakfast here, chorizo, ham, bacon, tocino, bacon, chilaquiles, omelette. Yeah, I don't know who's paying them. Right, here's the laundromat. <clears throat> this looks like a nice clean one. Man, look at this one. You could eat off the floor here. Not like that hell hole in the hood. All right. Well, that surprises me, Ronan. Is there like a tremendous shortage of, uh, is there like a tremendous shortage of parking or something down there? Is that the problem? This is a Mexican bakery. Uh, although I hate to tell you, I'm not really into Mexican baked goods. Not really, uh, not really my cup of tea. If a hoagie is a submarine, yeah, I guess so. I grew up with submarines. Uh, I don't know, were these guys speed freaks down here just hanging out? I don't know. Let's see if anybody's over to China Chef tonight. Hey, thanks for listening, you know. Hey, hey, hey. guys got stick No, I just, I'm not, I've never been a very big pastry person. You know, I have, I have a really difficult time finishing that orange cake. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? Uh, doesn't look like anybody's at the China Chef. Right. Looks a little depleted tonight. 
Uh, let's see the menu. These people work their butts off. Well, they even have wine. Yeah, there's nothing going on here. Wow, look at this menu. It's ragged out, man. Doesn't look like they switch up many price. Chicken fried rice for eight ninety five. Wow. It's like stepping back to 20, uh, 2015. Prawns and lobster sauce, twelve ninety five. Man, it doesn't look like they've messed with these prices at all. Yeah, we're in Kotati. Uh, the speed capital of America. Boy, this is just a ragged out menu, isn't it? Uh, hell, where is everybody? Is it open? The door's open. Nobody inside. We're a Chairman Mao special. All right. Now it's deader than the doornail in there. How you doing, Noreen? Uh, got a little bit of a creep factor to it. Let's open that kitchen door. Yeah, sometimes you don't want to look in the back of a Chinese restaurant, I'm just saying. Yeah, we're creeping tonight, kind of getting in everybody's business where we can, hoping the signal holds up. We're making our way more to the... Uh, traditional downtown it's getting cold and very clammy tonight you can tell rain is on the way China chef man that is a huge building you know Hunan and Mandarin I'm gonna tell you what take it from somebody who lived in China for five years you might think Sichuan food is hot you put Hunan food down on your plate, you'll blow your head off. Hunan's where Chairman Mao Mao Zedong. And that stuff is boiling. Papa Murphy's taken bike. We'll come back the other side. Well, there's actually a car dealer over there. See it over here. Hey, Carrie, there's a $25,000 Jeep over there. That is, there's the take and bake. Look at that extra, extra large New York style, $9.99. Well, I don't know. It's for, it might be reasonable. I'm not sure. Kotati's a very nice, kind of another like hippie town. Everybody prides themselves in being kind of laid back, and chill. Even the buses move fast here. So we're making our way to the core downtown area. There's got the biker bar. Really, there's a place called the 8-Ball here that's a biker bar. Well known. I wouldn't say it's low budget. It's going to cost you dearly to live in this town. Rohner Park is more of a budget town. Look at those little bumper pools over there. Uh, 
you just can't boondock in a bumper pool. You're going to have all kinds of problems. Uh, here's a consignment sale, state sales. What is this? Ladybird. What the heck is that shop? Who's even going to go back there? Uh, blush pink nail boutique. Ladybird floor and adornments. I don't know. That's really a deep shop in there, isn't it? <sighs> Estate sales. I guess you can consign your crap in here. The Castati, Castati store is closed until further notice. We look forward to seeing it at the RJ uh, Oakmont store. Uh, there's all kinds of crap still in there. Mezzaluna, Mezzaluna. What's down? There's all kinds of places tucked in here I've never seen before. Hey Nino, how are you? Paintball, airsoft. Doesn't seem to be a rip roar in place, eh? Oh, it's a floor shop. Swimmer to work at. I'm not sure. If there's a pool here or not. Flagship tap room. It's like a nice place to get a brew. Beer and wine. Good looking girls at the front. Always stimulates the appetite. Well, let's see what we got here. Uh, wanted for sexual assault. Ooh. Hey, JR. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's legal to put up something like that. I don't know. This man has been drugging, stalking, and blanking women in the Catati area. Jose Chino Dagoberto Caceres. He looks like uh, something out of uh, Sling Blade. That's something, right? Something else to worry about, eh? Some sling blade goofy looking thing. Uh, let's see, Mezzaluna. This is a Greek place, I guess. Tzatziki, the yogurt, uh, spinach pepita, moussaka, Baklava, 12 bucks. Ooh, 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 ooh. I gotta get it. I gotta put this on mute for a second.
All right, sorry guys, that freaking music was blasting over there. Please tap the like button. Uh, we're gonna see if the restroom's open here. Let's see. I think these are open till like eight o'clock. Right. Nice. On standby. Nice clean restroom. Everything's stainless steel, so all you have to do is just blast it with a hose. That's it. Everything is stainless. Walls, everything. Believe this? Oh. Alright, let's keep rolling here. We're in the park here. Uh, let's see. It's down here. I think this Korean... Uh, I think there's Korean churches down here. Is our signal still good? This is where we always run into trouble here. I notice how many people carry flashlights now. Let's see this. Oh, they got this. They got this really cool old Rexall pharmacy. You talk about old school. There it is over there. Probably can't see it, but look. We'll get it on the way back. Uh, let's see. I swear you gotta creep around here. Uh, it's got a very high creep factor. I wonder if this church is still operational. I don't know. Uh, just kind of moving around here. There it is over there. Let's see. They got all kinds of motion detectors on there. Yeah. Sonoma Korean Baptist Church. Man, this place is like neat as a pin. Look at this. These people do it up here. Never seeing any of these windows. Let's see, I guess this is uh, people looking over there. I guess that's the uh, minister's place. That looks like his wife cooking up something nice in the walk over there. Nice. I think I probably got a better walk though. Yeah, 
and she's doing it up in there. believe how neat this place is. Man, you can't see anything in there. living in such a quiet place, eh? Whew. Unreal. It's really a nice, uh, really a nice church, huh? Got a little picnic area out here. People must have a lot of money. You know, they got the table chained in. Kind of cool, but it's got a little bit of a creep factor too. Right. Man, what is that flying up there? The hell is that? It's like an enormous spider or something. What the hell? Hell, something just dropped on me. Shimei, this is always where we shine, right here, right? This is it. Look at that old Quonset nut. Man, look at the way they ran that pipe right there. I got a better walk. Look at this poor rail in here. All pitched over. I'll tell you, the elements are always fighting you here. You know? You can't see, they got everything blocked off in here. Oh, wow. Well. Really makes it difficult to creep around here. You know, Alan Gentry, all I see is maintenance issues, right? The elements do take a toll. I can't believe they run this pipe right across the sidewalk here. That's pretty wild. There's like a part of the path here, and then it just disappears. What you call high value creeping right here. See, the problem is a lot of these congregations, they age out, so they don't, you know, the people that would do maintenance retire or pass on, so. Young people don't want to be getting up ladders and doing all that. I'm in Katati. C-O-T-A-T-I. So these people got a pretty good gig here. They have a nice big, uh, nice big place. This woman's doing it up with her walk. Serving up a nice hot something. I almost feel like banging on the window and say, could I get a bowl? Uh, it's not like they're going to turn you down, right? Help a brother in need. All right, let's keep moving here. 
This is a really cool old school sign here. It used to be a pharmacy. Ramon Salcedo was a was a killer, right? That I did a special story on him. He was a very uh, very well known killer here, and I did a story on him. I mean, I think that's Ramon Salcedo that you're talking about. Yes, a lot of labor is very hard, uh, especially people that can fix things. It's becoming a scarcer and scarcer uh, commodity. Yeah, I did a uh, Ramon Salcedo story. If you put it in my search box, <sighs> this sign is really cool. This is really old school. Man, I'd love to have that. I'd like to have a couple of these at the Rancho, right? Cheryl's like, oh, you need a sign permit. You can't put that on your property. I wanted to put a neon sign out front, the Rancho, right? With like outline of palm, uh, pine trees or something. No, labor's not easy to get. I disagree. The skill set is disappearing. I could not disagree more. Everywhere I go, people are frantic. I get people calling me, can you do this, can you do that? I had a guy, but he can't come out for three months, or he didn't ever showed up, or he took a deposit. No, it's exceedingly difficult to get to. Ask Alan Gentry. Sassi Boutoukin Saloon. No, the pay's not disappearing. Nobody in this county's moving a limb for less than 20 bucks an hour here. And that's for loads paid stuff. There's not a handyman that's working for less than 50, 75 bucks an hour. And the demand is off the chart. Demand is off the chart. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Alan. If you want it done right, with one time, with a high degree of skill, you know, it's almost an impossibility these days. Especially the odd job handyman. That's why I've been very reticent to hang my shingle out on that, because it just, you know, I'm already getting too much of a flow from churches now, if people need stuff done. <sighs> It's like I retired for a reason. Yeah, thank you. There's my video on Ramon Salcedo. You may enjoy that. Yeah, pride, of, but it's also the skill. You ask a young person today, to find it's under 40 you know we got a clogged toilet or whatever they're just gonna burn the house down forget about it the plumber's gonna come and charge a thousand bucks man this whole place is still hanging in here Well, I can't speak to that, but I can sure speak to the demand for people that know how to fix stuff. I can certainly speak to that. One reason I don't even hang my shingle at. I don't want a zillion people calling me all the time. That's exactly right, Alan. And then you have to hope that they have the skills and that they're not alcoholics or drug users or, you know. Here's the biker bar. Biker's welcome. This is a cool bar. Gotta be careful where you're sticking your camera though. Well, I don't know if it's a work ethic. It's like where are they 
exposed to learn. You have to understand when I went to high school, we had a very demanding wood shop. We had a sheet metal shop that you could make ventilators. You knew how to work with brakes and shears and uh, rivets, welding, soldering. Then you went on to a hot metal shop with forging, casting. Uh, all that. Then finally you went on to machine shop where you're running a lathe. I mean, shit, who's doing that these days in high schools? This was the old, the end of the beginning. Yeah, there's not many trade schools, so how are you going to learn? You know, so many families don't even have a man at home anymore. Or please use French doors. You know, I'm just saying, how are you going to learn it? I grew up every, every time that... Uh, family had to do a project I was right there front and center at 6 a.m. in the hardware store on Saturday morning buying crap it's not that way anymore I would have thought someplace would have picked this up I don't know so I count myself very fortunate that I'm able to do my uh, most of my own electrical work and plumbing work, and repair work. Yeah, 80,000 bucks, that sounds bad, right? 25, 30, yeah, I mean, I don't know. 80 is a bit much. It, uh, you know, the, what are you talking about? A tankless? Uh, well, the tankless water heater should be about 2500 Go look at the video, Queen. You can see the, uh, you can see the root. The roots and the uh, turd baby that came out of it. Yeah, 80 grand is a bit excessive. Well, I'm going to go tackle one tomorrow because i got to get above the ceiling of the office at the church because uh, they're not getting any hot water. Uh, let's see. Here's a cool place. Pyro Mechanics. Robotics team. Ah, Katati, this, uh, this town's got no hat size, no hell. Slim Pickens, Pat Garrett, and Billy the Kid. Well, there's the sign for the uh, speed record. There it is in the corner, Katati Speedway. I don't know if you can see that over there. There it is. You can see my cinematic video on Katati. Just uh, put it in your watch list. You can see uh, all the headline newspapers about breaking the uh, speed record. Oh, I don't care about the liability. I do the work because I know how to do it. Oh, ooh. That's why I do it, because I'm not worried about the quality of my work or the risk involved. <sighs> How do you get to buy with that doing that? You have a limit on what you'll do. Repair is one thing. Repair is a very wide open field. If I was going to initially do a drop and feed to a service panel, I would call an electrical work, I would call uh, P2E to come in and do that. Then I would do all the wiring within the premises. 
and then have P2E come back and check it out. But repair repair stuff is a whole different ball game. Oh, uh, here's where we had that really funny thing that time. This is this was the thing, Shimei. When I got really whacked that day. We creeped around and I went up there to this songbird healing center and I had my nose right up to the door and the girl opens the thing and what was I going to do she looked at me I looked at her she looked at me I looked at her and I said sorry I'm just uh, choochin like man was that embarrassing My gig is I can repair most anything. But for original contractor work, no. No, 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 no. Look at this funky thing. <sighs> Boss would really say, uh, well, I, I, you know, he's a hard worker. He's been instrumental in getting me to slow down and just take your time. Because I tend to go way too fast. And then I get caught up. So I've learned a lot from him in terms of being very detailed and coming into a job site very prepared, having good personal protection equipment. So I learned a lot. Now, I will say, I will say that the boss is damn scary, though, so you learn by yelling a lot, right? But it's like the Marine Corps, yelling is a very effective teacher, you know, because you're, you have an impression when somebody yells at you, you're like, oh, I don't want to go through this again. So the boss would like scare the living you know what out of you and you didn't dare make the same mistake again all right very important it's like the way the Marine Corps you're learning by fear here's this weirdo housing estate here the frog estate or something that the woman did not like me creeping around in here Well, it worked on me just fine. A private co-housing community. I respond better when somebody yells at me and like Marine Corps. Then I never forget, oh, this bakery smells so good. But the beautiful thing about the bus, he can be yelling at you and then five minutes later he's like, oh, let's go get lunch. It's, it's like it never happened, you know, it's funny. Not my book, Carrie Class, Anger's a Way of Learning. Our society today is too bogged down by people that are touchy-feely about learning and being taught. This is, it looks like Sal's is open again here. Wow, they're back in business. Unbelievable. Yeah, you can't got to get a good reaming. People have to learn a lesson. Now you, now you have the slightest argument with somebody. They just, they just take their apron, throw it down, walk out. They don't even say anything to you. They just leave. Hey, what happened to Frankie? Uh, he just left. What? Yeah, he didn't like the way that you were talking. Right, so he just split. He said I'll be in Friday to get his check. You're like, what? Man, I always had bosses yelling at me.
Yeah, well, union is different. We're talking about cut and run, regular kind of work. And I'm sure when you're in a union training program for an electrician and you're a green little apprentice, I'm sure there's some yelling in there. Oh, firefighters more. Good Lord. What more could we do for these people? There's the famed eight ball. That's another good biker bar. Yeah, they'd, they'd whiz themselves. They'd have to call. Well, it's uh, you, know, you don't see that. I don't know how old you are, Carrie, but you better get a handle on today's world. Engineers are professional. I'm talking about working class folk. The regular cut and dried. Here's the super burger here. Well, that's nice, Mary. That's cool. These days, I have to admire anybody that uh, gets a job and holds it. What is this? Today, the Marine Corps has to be nice and touchy feely. That's a day when we're really going to be screwed. I respect the first responders too, but I don't respect them pickpocketing uh, the taxpayers and over responding to every call that comes in. Oh, good Lord. Reinstating the draft. Can you imagine that? Time when inspected chores failed, and you had, yes, yeah, Sassy, and you also had pride in what you did that you could stand up to an inspection. You thought, you know what, I got it going on, man. You just had that pride. It's like when you graduate from the Marines, holy smoke, you are you march proud. You're like, I went through that, I survived. Uh, Clear Lake, that's way up in there. I don't like that area. It's another county. 674000 for that Nancy Court. No land. $1.3 million downtown Sebastopol. Hey, Dr. Frankenstein. There's a double wide. 265,000. Well, it sounds like Carrie Class that you're resistant to uh, getting along with people. <laughs> Everything seems to rub you the wrong way. Let's see, the winds, trade winds. Man, there's a lot of bars down here, right? Golden State Cider. I'm going to pass on that. Look at this. Uh, this pig's got a pork. How about this? Look at that. Cafe Deli. Is it even open anymore? I don't know. That's about the extent of the town. Uh, yeah, it's got a lot of biker bars. Down Arrows and Friends. I don't know what the hell that is. I think this is one of these towns you can't legally metal detect it. It's not abuse, it's correction. 
there's a difference between abuse and correction. Our problem today is militant individualism. Everybody takes everything as a personal affront on their nature and their individual being. Hence our society is slipping into the toilet. Because it's all about me, me, me. I don't know what that is. Katati Downtown Plaza. Uh, Katati's Hexagonal Town Plaza plan. One of only two in the United States. Wow. Hexagonal. Designed during the 1890s by Newton Smythe as an alternative to traditional all-grid land planning. Six sides. California registered historical marker. Well, let's just say I can write a coherent sentence and I can spell and read and do math, so I guess the nuns did all right by me. Uh. Oh, brother. Uh. Hi. Okay, well, yeah, either way. Yeah. Sue yourself, that's it. Dog's got those uh, LED collars on. That's pretty cool. Kids' night out, January 26th. Dinner, sign up online. Yeah, that's it. Nobody can stand correction. It's all a verbal assault now. Highway Patrol, but your your mileage may vary. Everybody's got their own take, but if you can't find work as a handyman these days, then I don't know what to tell you. Every direction that I turn, you know, you got people contacting me to do this and do that, and, and I've only made myself available for two months. Pretty weird. But if you if you do stuff the right way, your reputation goes very fast. It it builds up very quickly. You know, the best advertising is always word of mouth. And this person tells this person, that person tells that person. Yeah, word's out, you do a good job. Hey, Nino. Yeah, the word gets out. People just want assurance that uh, they can get it done the right way. You look at half the decks that people get these days, they're, oh my lord. Yeah, this is a busy main street here in Katati. We'll get across, we just have to be patient. thing AI is going to do, it's never going to replace the ability to pull a toilet and pull a clog, I guarantee you that. <sighs> Always need hands on on that. It's 
Well, a person that knows how to fix shit will never go hungry. How to use a paint brush. What the hell is this? Uh, in loving memory of Marguerite Hahn, 1906-1972. What the hell? You get this? She buried right here? I don't know. That's what I said. Uh, being paid, uh, having work is a dream. You know, I could put a little ad in the back of the church bulletin and be swamped. Right? <clears throat> but I don't need it. I, uh, I have bigger fish to fry in life. I've been on the rock pile for 50 years. I've broken up many a boulder. Many a boulder. The best way to learn is at the side of somebody that knows what they're doing. Cute little cottage there. Yeah, it all finished up the crack. It's done. I went back and top coated it. I wasn't there long enough to warrant doing a uh, video on it. I was like, oh, I can't believe you can't even see it, you know, because uh, I said, yeah, the technology's that good now. Yeah, cute little cottage. I don't blame you, Nori. I hope you get one one day, honey. It's just a very hard to get your foot on the rung of real estate these days. Yeah, apprenticeship and years to become a journeyman. Even then, there's no assurance. I had the, I had the uh, guys come and do a drop, a hundred amp drop to the uh, shine shack. And this bird left an open neutral up there. Didn't even make the connection at the weatherhead, right? I mean, it's like, what the heck, dude? Right, boss comes in climbing the ladder. He almost gets blown off the ladder. <sighs> well, I was like, well, that's one time the boss can't yell at me, right? So. What the hell, an open neutral? So, boss was fit to be tied. I don't even think you would do that, right? And I said, the heck no. It's like, and this was a journeyman electrician? Yeah. Yeah, he did it up for me. Oh, uh, I just always pulled my own permits and submitted my own plans for stuff. They have to accept it. They have to work with you. They can't just tell you to get screwed and split. Uh, Plus, I had, I had uh, mechanical drawing, and I, I knew how to draft up stuff. Yeah, people love the apron. Uh, 
then during a the pandemic they were letting people pretty much do what the hell they wanted you know uh, we're just not going to have submission of plans for a while so you know unless you're building a new project but otherwise don't bother us right don't bother us Nobody's reviewing anything. Nobody wants to die. Uh, let's see. Anyway, I don't know where you live, Carrie Class, but out here, it's pretty much a foregone conclusion that you're going to have a hell of wicked time finding anybody to do anything. Uh, uh, see, this is going to be a nightmare. I don't know if there's even a center strip to move that into here. I don't know. Oh, this place is so kooky. Let's see. We just have to go for it. Yeah. With great power comes square D. Right. I guess we'll go up the back way here. Uh. Uh, uh, we had a good, there used to be a good fish and chips place down here. I don't know. Well, I guess traffic's moving along, all right. With great power comes Square D and Alan Bradley. standard when I was growing up. Man, I had, still have tons of Allen Bradley resistors and so many components from Allen Bradley. I think Allen Bradley was out of Philadelphia or New Jersey. stuff from Philco too, Philadelphia Electric Company. Yeah, well that's it, uh, Michelle. I mean, uh, welcome to the world. Mike Jensen, look at the title of this baby tonight. Man, we got the new walk to get some fried rice down. Has control equipment and stuff, Alan Bradley. Oh, it's all right, Mike. I'm just messing with you. I'm just glad you're here tonight. Tonight we're going to do, usually I do uh, shrimp fried rice. Tonight I'm going to do chicken fried rice. Yeah, Michelle, it's, it's, uh, it's why I say hybrids are the future. <laughs> I get lost in the church. Well, we're having a good time tonight. I mean, uh, I had requests to go down to Katati and poke around a little bit, and I fear our weather may degrade a little bit over the next couple days. So we got to take our shots when we can. I was debating about whether to go live on the B channel tonight, but I figured, well, we're breaking into a new walk, so. Might as well do it on the A channel tonight. I think we're almost up to 12,000 subs on the other channel. Hey, DJH. Let's see if Bobby wants to go to the casino next week. I'll, I'll risk a 20 and get some dinner down there. We're getting rain this weekend, so are we, Mary. 
I suspect I ought to get off my hiney tomorrow and get the gutters cleaned out. That's a gruesome little job. Don't forget, if you still want to help out St. Joe's, which I hope some will, the list is still rolling by there. And they've had a very, uh, very severe cold wave came through and wiped out a lot of their stuff of blankets and uh, socks and gloves and all that stuff. So if you can help out, it would be really amazing. Last time I checked, 50 items have been bought off of the uh, list. Don't get, don't walk on the ice. Let your dog shit himself, you know, no way. get to a certain age, man. I'll tell you, put my cleats on if you're going to go out. I'm the hell no. Get your spike golf shoes. No way in God's green earth I'm going to be slip sliding on the ice. The number one thing that you can avoid doing if you can is don't break a hip. like gorilla size so I'm not particularly worried about it but for the average person with osteoporosis and all that crap on back. yeah well there you go DJH you're younger than I am I'm glad yeah there we go Amanda I'm glad I don't live in an area I have to worry about ice and snow nuts to that bad enough when you fall over when you're older. Yeah, get those ice cleats, Callie Mo. You cannot afford to fall. Let's not get it twisted. way to get traumatic brain injury. Exercise, mobility, all that stuff is always good for maintaining bone density. I take a D3 every day. Yeah, cleats would be the way to go. Spike golf shoes any of that. No way I'm going to be dancing around the ice. They had that YouTube short of those cars in Tahoe coming down the hill, one after another, just slamming into each other at the bottom. What a lousy feeling that is when your car starts to slide or your vehicle. And all you're trying to do is figure out the best way to impact so you're going to have the least damage to your vehicle which is usually head on in a relatively low 10 mile an hour collision. Protect the sides at all costs. That's where the money really builds up. Side panels, quarter panels, all that crap. All right, welcome back to the hood. There's no safe direction. It was just uh, down a slope, and uh, you know, it's like a small two laner, and everybody's all piled up at the bottom. 
and once you're once you're there you're committed you know there ain't no turning back there ain't no turning sideways into the dirt right your choice is either slide off the side of the mountain or just figure your best shot to minimize your damage but then you got other vehicles coming down behind you that are slamming to you I mean, you can just see the insurance company just cringing there. Roll that bean footage. Here's our costly weekend. Bam, 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 bam. Eight thousand, seven thousand, forty-eight hundred, eighty-five hundred. Uh, just the meters just running. Yeah, you would. Anybody would be a fool at night to walk without a flashlight. This neighborhood, there's sidewalks that you wouldn't believe that go up at 45 degrees because tree roots and crap have pushed them all up. And here you got to worry about hitting people. Hey, Blackbird. All right. I think some of these puddles finally started running down. Gee, guys. It's pretty bad. Still, still smells a little bit from treating the uh, new walk here. And there it is. Look at that baby. Right. Let's just take a moment. Look at that big, beautiful blue in there. Look at these. All, all pro level now. All pro level. It's going to take a while to eat this baby. All right. This is this is pro level season. This baby. You know you're stepping up. To pro level. So videos coming up on how I did that. Orange cake is good, but I don't want to. I don't want to become a, a chunky monkey. So I just try to moderate a lot. Uh, ooh, yeah, it's a really nice walk. It's a Yasukota. Is about top of the line for walks. I might have to take off the surround on the Camp Chef stove because it's a big walk. It's a 14 inch walk. Just be aware, though, that uh, 
season doesn't mean non-stick. That takes uh, that takes time to get that. And it's like a skillet. All right, it takes time to get it to a point. What the hell is going on? It's sinking down. Why? It's Thursday night. Tomorrow night we got shopping. I looked at the Safeway flyer. I didn't see anything particularly compelling on it. I guess we'll take one more trip over on Saturday night just to see if we get any uh, banging seafood or anything. Otherwise, yeah, no fire alarm yet. That thing went till about 2:30 in the morning last night. Unbelievable. Of course, I didn't even hear until I got up to Wiz. And then tomorrow, the tomorrow the bank alarm will go off. It's Friday, so usually in the afternoon, somebody tries to rob the bank. Cheers, everybody. Uh, well, it's like anything else, Dory. Dory Lane, you just get used to it. Right after a while, it just becomes like ambient background noise. It's only when you got the odd goof that's flying down the street, right? He's got his detuned engine and... His little rice burner. He's all badass. I guess, um... I guess Alan Gentry, the B8, will be a thing of the past. V8 engine from 1932 to 2025. Rest in peace. The human capacity to adjust is pretty amazing. I mean, Alan, you know, how do you sleep in combat positions and stuff? When you got BC creeping around and NVA, regulars and stuff, how are you going to sleep? You get your claymore set up. I hope the guy doesn't fall asleep that's on watch. at you for being able to sleep in those conditions. Let me talk about hell. V8s are a thing of the past, man. What do we got here? Hey, Terry, I'm going to hope for the best for you. You're a very, very important person on this channel. You are our Montana Connection. One of the nicest people I know always has a kind word. So, be praying for you. Uh, 
Yes, bye bye V8 1932 to 2025. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You sleep well here, you get enough sleepless nights with the noise, and pretty soon you just learn to deal with it. You just learn to to do it up, right? That's the way it goes. Nice the way uh, heart heart medicine is advanced so much. <clears throat> it's really amazing. I'm surprised this crappy old thing is still. <laughs> This old bird is <laughs> still, still pumping. 1958 dash. <laughs> That's a long time. I imagine having a imagine having an Edsel. <laughs> a Ford Edsel. <laughs> it's like the end of the line. <laughs> That's a lot of years, ladies and gentlemen, for that little bastard to keep firing. <laughs> but the old the old duffer's still going good. Uh, my granddaughter turns forward. It's been a while. Hey, Dixie, hello. Nice to see you, honey. Nice to see you. Well, I haven't announced it on here, but Lord willing, I'm going to be a uh, grandpa this year. So that's kind of exciting. All right. I have a story someday to tell you about somebody sleeping on guard duty now. We took care of that. Well, you risk a lot of lives when you do that shit. You better get out those bars of soap and I can't imagine, thank you, Shimei, I can't imagine anything worse. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, you never want to count your chickens, but, uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, go zoom, yeah. <laughs> Michelle's like... <laughs> <laughs> Well, we'll see how everything turns out, right? <clears throat> but uh, I'm excited. Yeah, thank you, Callie Mo. I appreciate it. <clears throat> Free medical and health care. Well, you already have it, Adam. I don't think you paid for anything out of your own pocket. Avoid putting an exhausted person on guard duty would be the solution. Anybody that's in a combat situation is by definition exhausted. So, I can't say I agree with that. Look too young. Young whippersnapper, right? All right, we might have to remove the sides tonight. Reason being is this walk is big. So I might just go ahead and just pull it right now. Just put that baby on the sign. Well, that's a nice story, man. Alright, so we're gonna go what we call naked top tonight. You see the camp chef stove has been holding up really well. So the first thing I want to do tonight is I want to have everything in place over here. Or what the French call en place. Right? Get all of, everything that I need here into position. Got 
nice new beautiful block. It's all been blued out, ready to go. All right. Hand hammered carbon seal. Look at that baby, just fits so nice on there. Look at that. How about that? That's what you call real, the real deal right there. You also caught the... sausage tonight because I got I cooked up two cups of rice tonight so uh, yeah I love peas love peas so tonight we're going to use the seasoned oil it's been here that's going to bang this up a bit alright and I'm going to put uh couple tablespoons of that seasoned oil in here. Right, we're going to get the rest of the stuff we need. Get your real secret, brown sugar. Alright, you gotta have brown sugar and you must have sesame oil. I guess that'll be enough in there. You need to have sesame oil, okay? Very, very important. Brown sugar, sesame oil are this are the difference between American made, alright, and uh, authentic Chinese. I don't use egg in mine, but you can. Right. I 
I've got the chicken, the peas, and I've got two cups of rice that I cooked up today, basmati rice. Make it perfect. All right, you can get snakes and bugs and mice from leaving. I know, but that's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. So we're gonna put that on the side. Make sure that's ready to go. Nice little rice ball there. Mm -hmm. Always make sure you use cold rice. Hey bird. Might need a little more than that, I'm not sure. That might do it. Brody's gonna get confused because sometimes I'll be talking to the fire in the hole here. I think I'm talking to her, but I'm we'll just cut up our vegetables first. Let's do that first. Some some days you got a shovel like fucking dirt. It's all wet. There's the dunes and that. Let's do this. Gravel box. They have a pile of dirt. Did that today for yes. half the day. That was fun. Restrain your cussing. Well, it wasn't because, but someone effed up at the job site. <laughs> well, that's pretty common these days, isn't it? You know? Yeah, so it was supposed to not be level, but they made it level, and it was supposed to go at a slant for the wheelchair access. So when it went to the door, it was about an, an inch or I don't know if it went to the shop or something, and we're ready to begin. Right? So it took these guys all day breaking that cement up. Jackhammer, like all day, breaking that lever, throwing the dumpster. Mm -hmm. I like that rough chop. You can have it as fine as you want. A lot of uh, so, fried rice is very fine. And I'm not sure who's fault it is. Obviously, there was a miscommunication between the superintendent. But I like more of like rough chop. Sorry, uh, sorry. So, I was making sure job to make sure it's done proper. Someone's going to have to pay for it. We're ready to go. So we're going to put our garlic in. It's not cheap for a nice bunch of three tablespoons of garlic. Got a nice big block, so you don't have to worry about anything falling out of it. And there we go, and we're gonna throw our chicken in too. I guess we're gonna cut up our carrots too. We're gonna hold off on putting the uh, peas in. It's gonna take another two days or something to form it. I think it's gonna rain tomorrow, Bert. Yeah. It's going to rain for five days. In the afternoon, I think, anyway. I'm going to try to get up and get the gutters cleaned out tomorrow. On and off. Uh, yeah, on and off. It's not going to be, uh, it's not going to be continuous, which is good. 
throw that in too. We got a nice huge box here. So oh, yeah, sure. plenty of space. Oh, and I like a lot of uh, cards. So we're gonna have to get some. Rosie, do you know Suka Suka Nine Thousand? Suka Nine Thousand? Suka P H U S or something? I'm not sure. Because he's going on vacation, or she just booked a cruise ship leaving the Baltimore port. Isn't that where you're from? Yeah. Rosie's from Baltimore. The port of Baltimore. Look at this tooth. <laughs> Look at this carriage, God. <laughs> oh, that sounds wonderful. I've never been on a cruise. Look at that. But I did know this girl. Started off working as a bartender, and then she ended up managing the I've never been on a cruise, and I've probably never been on a cruise. Oh, hold up, please, bro. The Royal Caribbean. I like those Viking commercials. I think. I guess we'll just stick with the chicken tonight. I don't think we're going to do the sausage in there. Good for you. That's awesome. Cheers. All right, here we go. We're officially firing up the block for the first time. Woo! I think this is going to have like, I think, right? Maybe we can get it. All right, here we go. We have the ultimate cruise Let's put Part fire in the hole tonight. When I was shoveling mud and rocks and stuff for half a day, I was like, yeah. High heat, baby. There we go. That's the real deal right there. Like a real Chinese restaurant. Look at that. That's the way to do it. Well, it sounds like a real walk. Turn that heat down just a little bit. Isn't that amazing, that sound? They let me do it. Get all of them, good break on the When I work with Marvel, oh, my God, that's such a great. You don't have to die. Mm -hmm. The lock. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. I like that high heat sound, right? That's really cool. What was that TV show? Did you just have the editing? Love Boat. Love Boat. Love Boat. Probably a lot of pictures. Audience, we're in the Chicken and Stadium and tonight. We're breaking in the new walk here, the Chicken Fried Rice. Make sure you like and subscribe. Get this product coming up. Look at that, man. Nothing's sticking. Like, 
That was really cool for the video, right? Using the seasoned oil from the uh, chicken and the fries here. To me, I want a red pineapple. I had a white one that I thought you wanted for a truck. I need a truck instead of a truck. I think the truck is the first thing. My warranty you pay up a couple thousand dollars. In a couple minutes, I'll cut up the uh, chicken um, here. Drunk in public. And then I, I don't know what I Man, that is so fast. That I baby just that tears so through that like nobody's business in there. I spent three days. Right. Yeah. Right. That's nice. Vegetables here. We always go, well, you can physically remove it. Someone has a Trust and believe, this is more right? chicken than you'll get in your average. Call the cops. Call chicken the cops. fried rice, you can believe that. Well, the time to ask, wait for your farm time. Uh -huh. That's the secret. The, the Chinese always just cut everything job. in the very small cubes. You don't need knives. Right, that's why chopsticks are so effective. So we're going to send it to the church. Or maybe that's protocol we don't use. Do another section of video here. This is so much fun. Now we're trying to get back in. 
when we had the thing I was just about to check the box, right? Oh, oh my god. Oh, this is perfect. You can make it hot, female ranger. All right, the mail are spicy. All right, we've got our uh, cayenne tonight. Went inside, the girl came second. Want a little bit of heat in there? And then also comes our uh, brown sugar in here. All right, here we go. You know, first compression. Four options. Hand the ground sugar. Oh my goodness. She goes. Very professional. It's not like LA tops. Let's see how carefully I measure. Really nice. And I left. That chicken is already out. Now comes our sesame oil. And then I looked at the door and I said, well, you. You're going to have to work on your response time, right? Well, I don't know. And then they just started laughing. They were both laughing. Because the girl better get there first. And you can the guy get there first. Come on. This is good. That's how female rangers move up. Got more of the honey. Yeah, that's good. Got that nuttiness in it. Give it one more shake of heat here. And how long is your trip? Nine days? Two weeks? Oh, we're looking good here. Roosevelt, we walk. Walk them in the bowling. Like real Chinese style now, Bert. Yeah. <laughs> Chinese I'm ready to be hired by the Chinese <laughs> restaurant, dude. Walk on. Door there was this one restaurant and you have Chinese you know. Man, what a job. What a job. Five yeah. kind of tight. He was moving around. This is this this restaurant. I can't remember. It always tastes like super delicious. Whereas Bird would say super deck. Yes. Other restaurants have got walk of I don't know if I've ever put that in the back. Okay, cut that one. Finishing agent, do not cook with soy sauce, okay? How nice they look. Coming Come along. Okay. Yeah, of course you'd say that, Amanda. Anything to dish the cook.
Breaking is real chat is real Chinese, man. That's the way it goes. We got enough for breakfast and everything. Look at that. Yeah, look at all those apologies. Whoa. Ooh, so sorry. All right, there we go. Chicken fried rice, right there. Ji Gong Ji. Yeah, I need so much that that she she started off as a bartender on a cruise ship. Here we go. Thank you, Fundy. Thank you. At least somebody appreciates it. Thank you. Seems like we're in our critique everything mode.
regular bike to lunch, and um, there's a copper, and I was like, the light turned red, and I was gonna sit, like, right to the like, cut her off, it goes the other way, right? And I was like, All right, perfect. I decided not to. I just right, let's, uh, kept let's going. Down down red light. She looked at me, and I smiled. I let his chair out now. Let his chair out now. Let his chair out now. Let his chair Oh, man, I've waited all day for this baby. <laughs> all day for this baby. Ten minutes up, ten minutes uh, hey James, how you doing? Well, proof of the pudding is in the eating. So here we go. It's here. Mm. I was like, I could have smoked that Viva Ranger. You could put it mushrooms in it too. Girl, I'm giving. I heard you, Mmm. Guess they wanted to talk to you on it. What are you doing? He said, oh, thank you. That turned out so good. I'm, gl I'm uh, glad I didn't put the pork in. Because uh, this is this is perfect as it is. Uh huh. Hey, nocturnal. So darn good. Worth the wait tonight. Easy. So Alameda must be kind of grungy there. The thing I like about the Chinese cooking, it's always fast and to the point. Do not have enough officers resources. No hours and hours. And I think a lot of it had to do with that deep one with police. Well, I appreciate it, Cheryl. Now Thank you. Know. I was beginning to wonder now, if I could do anything right. We know cops. There's good cops. There's bad cops. Uh, Some cops will, uh huh. <laughs> Other cops will be like, uh -huh. oh shit. <laughs> like, Come on. Oh man. Uh. Now look, we're all suffering. We're suffering here. We're uh. suffering. Everything's closing. Well, I can't respond if I don't see it. Now look, who's going to save your ass? Mm. This is really Everybody good. Better carry, like in the old days, I have dried have Sichuan peppers too. You can throw a little of that in. That really uh, bangs it up. And that's the thing this is great. I like a little bit of heat in it and uh, don't put salt in because your soy sauce is going to give you plenty of uh, saltiness I don't like kick them in but I had to use it up I generally like Pearl River brand right of, uh, yeah, of soy sauce, which is really, really amazing. That's the real way to eat in China. But without it, what do you do? Mm. See what Bobby missed? I didn't invite Bobby. Realistically, there has to be some kind of But I think I'm going to go to the casino with Bobby next week. I think that would be fun. It's like a game. 
think our our once a year trip down there. Put loads of soy sauce in. New York, I'm sure it's more syndicate. Yeah. Whole different level. Well, it's got plenty of it in there. The problem is people put soy sauce in and then they scorch it. Right, you can also add a little bit of MSG if you want to it. Yeah, thank you, Michelle. No, and it doesn't matter thank where you, you live. Or in America, it's American great. So, yeah, some might have a MSG health, is good, too. Kind of like me, and no mental, just... Whew. It's and a flavor enhancer, but some people drugs, gives them a headache. Alcohol, all that stuff, you know, you know what's in. Especially, like, how many times have you blacked out on Let's say you're abusive or something. You think cops are abusive? I'm sure they have a higher rate of domestic. Always at the end because go. soy can be scorched. Abuse. You can do I'm up an egg it, too. I love the the ready. You need to have the um, nuts uh, at all. Basmati rice. It's much fluffier. People can say what they're going to do. Really good. Now I'm trying to cook enough so that I have I stuff left of over for breakfast. With that stuff, right? Any <laughs> cops, the big guy saves the day, good Samaritan, whatever. And then when the cop came out and thanked me, I said, I think I'm going to watch uh, many YouTube videos. <laughs> wow. Basmati is excellent because it stays nice and fluffy. It's not all stuck together. Sticky rice is for sushi. Do you think they have like some kind of bar? Or like Basmati also open. absorbs nicely the flavors and things. Like everyone does ecstasy in all their world. So popular. I like MSG. Oh, really? I'm yeah, putting up a good. video tomorrow. So, we had to make perfect rice without a rice cooker. Thing, they got shot and he died about a month ago. Basmati's nice sus and fluffy. You know, the, the getaway driver, the, the guy who actually did the shooting. Another guy got a murder charge, and the one guy, for some reason, they want to get him off. But no. It's whatever it is, you're going to have to take a deal. You can't be robbing pot stores. Really good. You're killing police officers. You just can't do it. I like the beginning of the video where there's high heat. It's like sound like a real wok sizzling away. I'm sure his partner is Yeah, really but it's not a good rice. It's a, it's a sticky rice. you got to try Basmati rice. To help your partner is that no, you shouldn't chase him down through the bullet that guy's hand. So I don't know. He probably has issues with, like, not, like, but it, nobody's, it's not his fault, you know, because he's looking at his is the spice of life because the boss and Janet, they were always really? all about cow Look, rose rice, partner, which is a short grain. You want to take him out. All of them, like Butch then a few weeks, weeks ago, they said, oh, Check them out. we tried the basmati rice. It wasn't bad. Yeah. Well, of course, you know, it's nice. I think it's LA nice and factor. fluffy. It's the only rice I buy now. But your mileage may vary. Yeah, these days. It's a little something else. So, when my job ends, maybe I'll apply for Alameda. Sheriff's or police department. Right. Get that $75,000 bonus. Ah, long grain rice went by too fast. When it comes to a shit like that, I don't think they're big enough. 
Yep, thumbs up or appreciate it. Thank you. It's been a fun night tonight. Uh, I don't like. I like it really. I like it really. I don't eat a lot of rice too often. But when I make it up, I like to do it right. I'll show you today how to make perfect rice without a rice cooker. Yeah, thank you, Dr. I've Frankenstein. I appreciate it. It's my pleasure. People always enjoy what's going on in Rancho Kitchen Stadium. And I've made this a lot, but the first time I ever made chicken fried rice. Do I like it compared to shrimp? No. But, yeah, sesame oil is important. And brown sugar. Brown sugar is a secret ingredient that people leave out of their uh, fried rice. It uh, is the difference between restaurant stuff. This one guy other. I used to work with, he always had a meat camera. He would listen to that stuff. He would tell me, like, what happened? He said, because he, he listened to it all the time. He gets a little drunk. You get to fire when the police officer is so you got resistance in front of you. Yeah, sesame oil gives a really nice, nutty flavor to it. It's great. And the brown sugar gives you like a little bit of a sweet overtone on it, which is, oh, so nice. It deepens the flavor, shoot, dramatically. And that's what you want in cooking is complex flavors coming through, right? Like when I made the orange cake, yeah, I could also put, you know, vanilla in, or I could have put orange extract in, which I have uh, also. But I wanted the true orange flavor to be just a high enough note that it was there. And then you bite into those little bits of uh, zest of the orange, and it's just like, oh. It is so good, so good. So I got, Nino sent me the Yan Ken Cook cookbook, so we're going to be doing, uh, we're going to be doing some so of those dishes. A lot of the speaking codes, like, you know, you know what code, what number, or like, what it is. I'm so happy to have a real walk tonight. I don't have to worry about the coding on it. I don't have to worry about anything. Don't forget Sunday, Bird, for your birthday. I'm going to make a 6 o'clock reservation for Cattlemen's, okay? Okay. Just so you know. So. That sounds we'll weird. leave about 5.40 or so. Around, uh, 5.45 oh, or so. The 21 Club. Yes. You know... <laughs> I watched this thing about Uvalde and, you know, but the football team, because the 21 people that got shot, so whoever had the jersey, they were like, should we retire? And they all voted for this one kid. And they were so bad, they were like in the bottom 10 or like last place or something. And then that year, it helped bring the community together because they made it to the playoffs. Oh, wow. That's pretty exciting. Yeah. So, yeah, thanks for the documentary on that. Yeah, and that's the, cool. The jersey was 21. Uvalde. Strong. And I will. That I will. That's number. great. Thank you for telling the story. I will video it for the third year in a row. For uh, This is the third time Bird. we've celebrated Bird's oh, birthday. Yeah. So. Yeah. Right. And Cattleman's is really good. I always like tell Blackbird, you know, blow it out. I always say, blow it out. Get what you want, man. On <laughs> Fully loaded, everything. So. And they have wine cans. I don't really like to eat and drink, but I'll have a beer first. <laughs> well, I always like to have a, a beer first before I yeah. eat, too. So. Valde report discussing, yeah, the cops didn't do anything. They were just, you know, it's typical. It's like under over-responsive fire department, right? Me, I'm, I was born on January 21st, so Monday, we're going to I want to get the uh, list a little bit more. Yours is June 26th. Rosie is June 21st, too. She's summer solstice. 
I'm off on the New Year's. I'm really pleased the way the uh, walk performed tonight, too. Because let me tell you, that was 80 bucks for that thing. And then uh, 20 bucks for the long handle tools and everything. So, so I have a video a nice coming walk. up on how to season it. Well, Rosie, I thought your old walk was really nice. Getting too torn up at the bottom. Oh, yeah. I want it all steel. I don't want a coated crap that's oh, going to okay, come yeah. out on the food and everything. Yeah. I wanted the real deal. Yeah, it's an investment. Good right cookware on. Good cookware is always an investment. You can't survive. Some of you remember Francis, right? I you know Dorlin. Francis place. was always proud that Pisces. He spent like so I was born four hundred dollars on cookware. Just that was like his pride and, uh, and joy. I'm hey, Catherine. Because I was being born in Pisces. That was like his pride and joy. My mom spit me out. So when it comes to uh, so we're on the cusp. Cooking and baking, I'll always pay up. And believe it or not, I was born in a house off Sunset Boulevard. So, yeah, I'm from Echo Park. I'm not from General Hospital. You know, we got transported and I was in General for four months. And people go, where are you from? I can't remember what it was, but Francis is like, I paid a fortune for this cookware all the time Francis would talk to him. I'm making mung beans, right? Uh, how you doing, right? On the other side. I'm cooking with the so cookware tonight. Right there. We're on the Echo Park side. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Dory Lynn, that Michelle passed away, too. Meet you. Right. Scorpio. It sat there Scorpio. with the uh, open crotch right when uh, Elvis was down there, remember? Let's see if we can fill up. Right back up. in the uh, recliner. I'm a horse. No a panties show, on. Yeah. You guys know what? <laughs> The things you remember, they were some days, right? Like, honey, you forgot your pan you forgot so your panties, right? This is what makes the bottom of YouTube the bottom of YouTube, right? People today that claim boy to have no idea. Where is bizarre. Bob Bundy then, passed away as well, but no real no, confirmation of the day. Pretty well. I heard Debbie Lynn's out of lockup. You're driven to crabs? I do, but if you wouldn't. I took down the really ro lo naughty ones. Hell, that well, stuff is tame. Maybe I'll dream about blue lobsters or rock lobsters. I removed like six million views of, of stuff, thousands of videos. Elon's unclogging the toilet. Well, I need an extra dog to be paying me to get out. I'll bring my fish finder and see where the clog is. <coughs> Boy, this was so good tonight. This one guy, he invented I'll tell you guys, learn how to make a nice fried rice. It is so delicious. Jerry, you know, fried rice is good year round because it's quick, it's tasty, and you can do so many adjustments to your own personal taste. It's what makes it so nice. It's so versatile. You can do so many things with it. Great. Right, I have to do that too. I'll forget. So when you wake up and you remember, that's right, you should write it down because otherwise I have a limited capacity. Uh, what is it called? Our <coughs> attention. 
disorder deficit or something. I'm the only person in the history of YouTube <laughs> ever had a channel terminated four times, and every time the original channels come back. Which is pretty amazing. You wouldn't be able to do it today. It'd be impossible. That's my claim to fame. So, is this my axe? Now there's over like 20, 23 million so, views. That's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. But I'm here for the fun. Magic. Subtle magic. Poor Tiger's limping. Uh-oh, not again. Yeah, it's his back leg. The, the ghost face came over here and kicked his butt in the morning the other day. I think that's the Yeah, thing. that was it, Dorian. I think this, with all the fur and stuff, he took by his leg, his poor leg, right? Right down. Uh, I pet him and he doesn't do anything to his back leg. Yeah, the only way I like now oysters is raw. Well, I'm always very mild-mannered, Dorian, so it took a lot. When you're wild, you cannot be he had a real boy. Everybody like Rosie you ought to have a panel. That is a lot. You should be proud of yourself. Him and Rosie all the same now together. Alright, you guys know what time it is? Tiger's like the Uncle Buck. Right <laughs> Yeah, I don't ever go off. That was rare. <coughs> we have to go through hypnosis or something. Oh man, that when was I was so young, good. I remember dreaming to like songs. You know, I'm a musician, dreaming to get songs. Better get used to the scraping. Right? It was like some musician, like Aerosmith. I don't think this is the one that goes on. I've never heard before, and it's just like blast. These Rubbermaid things are so good. These are so great. To store your food in, these things are amazing. Don't mess around with crappy storage. Rubbermaid. They're called Rubbermaid Brilliance, I think. And they're so nice how they clamp down. Nice. They They're called brilliance. Right. They're so good. Aren't they good? Yeah, Aren't they Francis great nocturnal? Right. Yeah, Francis cooking. Because like Francis writes, yeah, right. Francis didn't really door. know how to cook, right? It was all just, right. I don't know. Can't have lunch smells in a commercial office. Better to cook in the better to cook in the parking lot or something. Really. What is it? I forget what they're called. Okay. Oh, this lock really performed well tonight. Damn, it's heavy. 
That's good. Does anyone know what time it is, West Coast? I love having, I love having stuff for breakfast, man. Soups. I'm turning into I'm turning into a soup nut. I got no uh, close to the dryer. I think uh, hey Francis, how are you? Yeah, three hour difference. How are you? I ain't got no mung beans. We'll get on I like that mung beans. I like that mung beans. Baby, really do his job tonight. Yes, you have snow. It's freezing over there. It's like minus zero. There's some shit. Right, so the weather patterns change. It's freezing like Siberia. Oh, look, it's lighter than I. But look at talking to people. Oh, there's no work from all this stuff. So my poor mom, I don't know how they do that now, right? But my mom was a heroin addict. And then she would buy those cheap dollar lighters, right? We get a brick lighter with all the pictures and stuff. And then when my mom passed away, she kept all the lighters. <laughs> I know Francis really appreciated meeting you, Dorlin. Don't say that. That was like, you know, Francis always talked about that. It was nice to meet Dorlin. Yeah, I like to make a lot of soup and then have it for three or four breakfasts. In wintertime, perfection. Perfecto. Yeah, it was a great time. Yep. Hey, Dorlin. Like Francis. Francis, uh, Michelle sent a donut. Well, thank you, Michelle. I can't, doesn't show up on my screen anymore. YouTube changed the whole darn thing. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle Norton. $10. Thank you, Michelle. Oh. I am so sorry. It just it doesn't even show up anymore. Thing. So I'm going to go ahead and close it down too, guys. And thank you for being here tonight. Uh, we had a fun time for Katati. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle, for the gas money. I appreciate it. And um, I will uh, see you guys tomorrow. To my moderators, thank you for everything that you do. I very much appreciate you. I think the best crew in the business here, year in, year out, excellent people that give it their time and their talents. And uh, it's always important to me as I end every uh, broadcast to thank them uh, for everything that they do. So to everybody else, thank you so much for uh, everything you do and for being here tonight. We had a good time. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Some more videos coming up. Milk, 